church and people you don't know stood and they pledged each other in the marriage vow. Babies were dedicated. We came to this church together and there were people who were deeply loved, who had touched the lives of others in the community and the church as you had their final service. And you cried and you held on to the joy of the promise of God at the same time. And this church, as everyone here knows, has went through a hard time. Every church goes through hard times. But this is the thing that I can tell you. The ones who have been here for a long time could testify to this. That when we had a dream, God was with us and he helped us with the dream. When we needed buildings to, so that we could serve God better, God helped us. When we went through that hardship, God was there. When all of a sudden all the rules of society seemed to be changed, we held together and we tried to be a positive, powerful place for the word of God. When we went through conflict, I will tell you, I worked with the leaders of this church in the last great conflict. And while you can debate whether good decisions or bad decisions were made, I'm still debating about offering place with my pastor. I was with them. I listened. And the driving force is we want to be the people of Jesus Christ. So whatever we do, let's be the highest kind of Christian we know to be. And you're through that. And now, we remember, uh, because the, Isaiah says, that which is from the beginning is the ending. The beginning is this, God is with us. The stories are this, God is with us, God is with us, God is with us. And if he was with us there and there and there and there and there, he is with us now. And that is the hope that we have. So you have a new pastor. She's a woman. <laughs> Whoever the new pastor was going to be. Really, we don't have a choice as a church. We are unchanged. People come and go, people live, people die. Society changes, the world changes. But we do have a choice if we're going to please God. There are going to be times, and I have no idea what they are. We haven't talked about this. There are going to be times where the leadership of this church, not just the pastor, but the pastor with other people, are going to say, we need to do something we've not done before. Or maybe even more uncomfortably, we're going to change what we've been doing for a long time for something new because we are in a new place and God is working and God makes all things new. Keep your heart and your mind on the substance. The form is important, but if we need to change the form because of the substance of our faith. Forget the former things. It's okay. But remember that in all we do and who we are and what we are, we are the people of Jesus Christ. Remember the times that you cried out to God and he was there. Remember the times that you stripped, tripped and stumbled and you grew up and you stood up in your faith and God used that to make you strong or stronger. Remember the times when we reached out by faith and we saw the hand of God. Remember those things. Remember the substance of who we are, the people of Jesus Christ. I have more stories, but we have a four o'clock service too. <laughs> So what I would really, really like to do with you today, I, I love this church. I, I felt at home right after we got past the bear jokes, which we are apparently not past. <laughs> I have felt at home. I do not believe that God is like an accountant who works at Walmart. He doesn't judge a church by how many products we have to sell. He judges the church 
by are you my people and that is the important thing and I'd like to pray that this church will be the church of God I do not mean a denominational name I mean the church that belongs to God and I would like to pray that you will walk with your leadership, not just the pastor, but the leadership, as you enter this new chapter, remembering what you should remember, and as difficult as it is, allowing the new thing to happen. Could I pray for you for that? You're a good God. Oh, the stories that could be told, and maybe they will be told over time here, how many times have you been with the people in this room? How many times have you surrounded people in this room with other Christians who were the right person at the right place at the right time? How many times have people from this congregation walked out in their community and they represented you well and touched lives? You have done that with the people in this room. You will do that with the people in this room. As we enter this new time, this new story in the history of the church, Father, bless this church. Use this church. And for that, I give you thanks. This is a good place. I think it is better than most of you know. <laughs> I am thankful to know you. Thank you, Pastor Kirk. <laughs>